called and his wrecker's not ready and he signed up for a job that needs a wrecker. So we threw a wrecker on a trailer. And here we go. We're about fueled up, I'm gonna get back on the road. Okay, here we are in the middle of nowhere in Parowan, Utah. According to GPS, the truck is somewhere over there. I'm waiting for Matt to get here so he can show us where we're headed. Well, here we are. Somebody showed up. On time. Yeah, all right, right on time. Right on time. Uh, yeah. Well, we're going to go over here somewhere. Yeah. And, uh, and find a truck. I've only seen pictures. Rory's seen the pictures. Yeah. We don't know exactly what we're in for, but it looks like it's frozen in there pretty good. Yeah. Look at it. Looks, looks pretty good. We didn't show up with a real support vehicle. We got white lightning back there. Jamie's driving it in. Yep. I'm hoping the ground's nice and frozen deep down. I think it is. Been here a couple weeks. Really? Looks like there's been tracks in there pretty fresh. I wonder if they've driven it out. I talked to them this morning, they said it's here. It's here. Hang on. What do you think? Well, based off the pictures and everything, I'm gonna throw my panel hitch in there, pick it up, swing it out of those tracks, and then pull it. That's a bold strategy. We'll see how it plays out for him. <laughs> it looks like they've been giving it the old college try. Oh, yeah, they've <laughs> trying to get it out of there. Once in a while, Rory gets a job that he just can't handle by himself, so he has to call in somebody like me to make sure that it gets done. Rory's actually saving our bacon twice today. I got the wrecker running, and I took this job going, the wrecker will do this. <laughs> and then we had some problems with the wrecker. And, uh, and a wrecker would have been perfect for this job. It would have. I can see him spinning right here, but you're in the dirt too. I mean, the mud. We don't have any drive. They didn't tell me that they broke it. Yeah, that's unfortunate because the drive shaft's spinning. Yeah. But the tires aren't. So we either lost a ring and pinion or, axle or one shaft. axle shaft and not letting the other one spin. This drive shaft's laying on the ground. Oh yeah, they broke the front one. So I wonder if we can just pick up on one tire at a time. Basically what we're gonna have to do to break it loose. I'm impressed. I wonder if the front is less stuck. It looks like it's less stuck. Yeah, we can come to the front and pick up and see if it'll if it'll budge. Holy cow. 
cow. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna harp it right through there. There you go. I'm at the max of this jack. So it's frozen around the tire. And so by deflating the tire, this bulge right here could technically squeeze through the ice. In theory. I agree with the theory. Woo! There she goes. Woo, good job. Hey, we're 50% out of here. Right. Well, 25. 25 is what I'd say. <laughs> frozen to the ground. Sweet. Where can they get their hoodie at, Rory? Trailmater.com, I think. It is. It's trailmater.com. <laughs> There's no thing I think about it. We'll set her down then. If we can chip some of this mud out of this rim, we might be able to pick just this tire up. This one, I don't, this one looks a little. That one we gotta twist out. That one looks too much work. Getting my mint vitamins and minerals. did an unnecessary front dig, which is one of the coolest things you can do. Let some air out. Yeah, if I can find a valve stem. I'm trying to hunt around without knocking it off. <laughs> All right, we've been digging on this, prying on it, pulling on it. Rory's got a jack under there and he's putting the hurt to it. And it ain't moved yet. We got a bottle jack under here, floor jack under the spring. Old Trail Mater's giving. Giving it all he's got. Is it a he or a she? <laughs> We're prospecting. All right, we're gonna do some more prospecting here. We'll let you know if we find what we're looking for. That is so hard, there are sparks coming off from it. You want a half round piece of pipe? <laughs> this is the most effective tool we've had so far. Okay. It's working like garbage, but it definitely is the most effective we've got. Yep. Right, we've good. used. Look, a valve stem. You found it? 
Why aren't you more excited? Woo! Woohoo! The sweet sound of air. Right. Want me to do these tiny little kinetic bumps off the back, like real small? All right, we're getting white lightning involved in the equation. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah. All right, so the plan now is to hook up on the front and kind of pull it at a little bit of an angle. That way we've got the extra leverage of the length of the truck. And we're gonna try to pivot off of this back wheel and see if we can pull this other back wheel out of its hole. Right now it's looking like that tire is not stuck in anymore, but the axle is just sitting in this adobe frozen mud. Okay, stop Jamie. Straighten your wheels out to the right. Okay. Okay, Jamie, four and a half. What do you think? Is it doing anything? No, that back is frozen. You seeing anything at all, Rory? Okay, one more, Jamie. Oh, that's that back axle is planted. Yeah. yeah. Okay, give us a solid four. <laughs> what do you no. think? You need a piece, different piece of equipment in here. How far is Robert out? Because he's got. A jack in his wrecker. Yeah.
Okay, we're headed out of here. Let's uh, let's lengthen your rope out. Okay. So we lengthened the rope out so we've got a little more spring in it. And then what did Matt tell you to do? Go like the wind. Go like the wind. Rory's gonna go like the wind. Everything's just froze up in there. We won't let the tire spin. So we kind of had to drag her out. The front drive line broke. Broke the yoke on it. Like I said, once they let it sit and freeze in there, that's what snapped the rear axle shaft is it just froze and nothing was moving to give at all. Yeah. So yeah, there it is. We got it. Not only did Rory help with this job, but now we're gonna go work on the wrecker. He's gonna help help me get it going so I can make it to KOH with more than a trailer queen, whatever. You can actually drive around. Yes. Make noises. First, you guys are gonna take me to lunch because I deserve it. Right. We're going to Brad's or Hermes? I don't care. Brad's. Anywhere. And like always, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Oh, we got no, five minutes of work and that's what we got that's why he never wears a coat because he's always got to do things the hard way so he's always <laughs> working up sweat this is like working on the railroad i've been working on this stuff truck all the live long day roar working on it too and he isn't getting any pay <laughs> right 
and it's sad.